talking about the first pizza with mozzarella around the 1600. So during the Borboni reign in uh, Napoli. And uh, there were a lot of pop-up of pizzeria in that video because uh, uh, it was common food for poor people. And uh, noble usually isn't, were not used to it. But uh, there was uh, this, this king, Ferdinando uh, II. It was uh, very common uh, for him to go dressed like a, uh, a person from the population, like to a poor person mm -hmm. into the pizzeria to eat, uh, to eat uh, this delicious It was like a few months old that you were really, really a hardcore to pizza. But she was making these unbelievable looking pizzas. She was showing me on the picture. I was like, wow, this is crazy. And she was like, oh yeah, I want to like, you know, come back and do some classes and lessons and things. And I was like, oh yeah, well you got to go out to the uh, pizza expo in Las Vegas in March. And she did. She like rocked it, it was awesome. And then now you're here at the end of your 10 days. Yes, yeah. The end of a 10 day uh, immersion class, uh, training at, uh, under a pizzaiolo in Manhattan. And, the, and I looked at my text messages the other day and I saw the one from you like, oh we gotta meet up. I was like, oh my goodness, you're here right now, we need to, you know, and, but you've probably been covered in dough the whole time. Yes, yes, How has yes. it been? Great. So this is just like an amazing moment, Charlene Pizzaiola in training. But yet, she sent me an email the other day of like, I've been practicing, and there's a photo of like 20 pizzas stacked up on top of each other, and they all looked magnificent. So, how's it been?